Well, it kind of came about like a little bit last year in uh, my draft year with my dad. We were just sitting around on the phone one night and just talking about how we can really help our community back in my hometown. We do a lot of community-based stuff back in Peterborough, so I um, just kind of wanted to do something over the holidays when uh, I was back home. So, um, yeah, I mean, we came up with the idea of Shut Out Hunger and wanted to help with the food bank, so uh, I knew I had a couple of friends back home that played in the OHL, and uh, I reached out to them and see if they'd be interested in helping, and uh, they were all for it, so it really helped uh, helped me out in uh, organizing this. And um, I mean, I have a lot of support from my, my previous schools, and they spread the word. Last year, we uh, we had 250 plus canned goods for the food bank and over 650 dollars in donations. So I mean, um, it's great. I mean, um, just to kind of organize it uh, on your own terms and um, kind of just do it on your own is, is pretty cool factor as well. And yeah, to give up an hour of our time over the break is nothing for us, especially at this time of night. We'll probably just kicking up our feet anyway on the couch. So I mean, for us to all get together and uh, do something together like this, it's pretty special. I just got a text from Jonesy. He said uh, he's doing something for charity and wants uh, some of the guys when they come back home to come out. And I thought it was a great opportunity to help and stuff, so I came out. It's a short break for you guys, but I'm sure helping out for an hour for a charity has got to be something that's rewarding. Yeah, like obviously you want to get back to the community, especially playing like in the OHL and stuff. And it makes us look good and always nice to help people and stuff. And doing this food drive and stuff, it's, it's really good. Hunter being away from home playing junior hockey uh, just after 15, he started getting involved in a lot of these other events and throughout this time in minor hockey a lot of times they did fundraising for their own teams. So being part of something else, something bigger with his junior hockey clubs, uh, the SBCAs and the hospitals and, and all this other stuff, the teddy bear tosses, it sort of changed his focus and his, uh, his sort of want for, for what he wanted to do with his community. And when he came back last year at Christmas time, after doing so much stuff for three years in other communities, he decided he wanted something to do here. So sort of how it got tossed around at the beginning. I definitely give a lot of credit to uh, the people in the office back in Peterborough too of how they organize these community events. It's it's pretty tough and uh, a little bit enduring on yourself. I mean, um, you know, trying to organize it and a little bit stressful leading up to the event. So I mean, uh, props to them for doing it all the time during the year. But I mean, when you do it on your on your uh, on your own a little bit, it gets a little bit stressful. But I mean, when you, when it turns out really nice like this, and it's uh, it's a good turnout with the people coming. Um, I mean, it makes you feel good, especially around Christmas time. And to hear feedback from other people in Peterborough, you get you get the feedback back that he's doing so much down there, and and the stuff that he's contributing to. It, it's it's really good to hear. You know, whenever he's asked to go do something, he never says no, and. You know, he's always trying to, to give back and be out there, which is awesome. My dad used to coach junior hockey when I was growing up, and I was that kid in the stick room, uh, you know, looking up to junior B hockey players. And um, I was always saying to my dad, I just want to play junior B hockey. And he's like, oh, no, you don't. You want to shoot higher than that kid. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool now. I'm kind of in those guys' shoes. And, you know, little kids are looking up to me and the other OHL players. and. Um, I mean, it's pretty cool to kind of flip the roles a little bit and be that guy. Now.